Hi YouTube family, I am Ashwini and welcome to Let's Share Solutions, a channel with just one mission, your success and happiness. Have you ever bought something and then regretted? Why did you buy it? Well, we all have. <laughs> In this video, I'll share a trick or a habit that can help you overcome that habit. So how do we spend money? Well, overall, we spend money on two things. First is necessity things that we need we need it like food like uh, home EMI like petrol in the car you can't live without that you have to spend it second is luxury luxury is something like uh, you already have a car you buy a new car you already have a phone you buy a new phone uh, you buy some branded clothes although you already have uh, clothes enough clothes so anything that you buy extra anything that you don't need that's not a necessity is a luxury so all you need to do is whenever you want to buy something buy a luxury item do not buy it immediately plan it make a plan for it start an EMI not an EMI after buying it but before buying it so plan whatever that you want to buy do not buy immediately that they have it now this is uh, even if you have money to buy it even if you have a credit card to buy it still you do this now this is exactly opposite of what a credit card does so how does a credit card how do these companies make money well the credit card companies give you 45 days to to repay the money after you buy something still they make a lot of money why because they know the habit the habit of human beings that we will end up buying something which we can't even pay after 45 days and then they have these heavy um, interest rates and then you you pay a lot more than what you were supposed to pay so what you're doing here is you are actually making it completely opposite of how the credit card works so whenever you want to buy something new a luxury item plan it let's say you want to buy something that costs you 30k now make an EMI of 10k every month and when you have 30k you buy it do not buy it immediately you plan it and you buy it after three months now you might say what if that thing is not available after three months well that's an exceptional case and also advertisers make uh, they try to sell things as if if you don't buy it today you won't get that offer so this is also something that you will learn so try to get this habit in your life and you will see that it's not that difficult and there are several benefits of this habit uh, like you will never spend more than what you have and that means you will never be broke apart from this I would like to share a couple of uh, real life uh, incidences which happened in my life and it's not the direct benefit of this if it's just that I'm sharing my personal experience how it helped me so once I decided to buy an Xbox now because I wanted to uh, lose weight I still want to lose weight so uh, now I'm going to gym I'm working out I'm I'm doing my stuff but there was a time I decided that I would buy an Xbox why I thought that buying an Xbox after buying an Xbox I will uh, play the games on Xbox and uh, by playing those games I can work out I can lose weight so that's something a lot of people do it and I'm not saying that's a bad thing and I'm not saying that's a good thing I'm just saying that's that's something that I thought I should do so what I did I simply started an EMI it cost me 30,000 rupees so I started an EMI of 10,000 rupees every month so after two months uh, in the third month when I was almost about to buy it after meeting a lot of people after watching a lot of videos online after going to the gym and discussing with my trainer I realized that that's not the best option for me it was just something that I just wanted and I don't even like playing games on Xbox so it would just be another thing that I would buy and it will be there in my cupboard somewhere because just like once I bought a Yamaha keyboard uh, Casio and that is just kept somewhere I don't play it so we buy things sometimes uh, we think we will use it but we don't use it so the Xbox would have been ended up like that only now just because I had that EMI just because I was trying to uh, I was planning to buy it I decided I don't need it 
and I did not buy it. So I saved my money and I did not buy it as well. So it may happen. I'm not saying this is what will happen. You may end up buying the thing, but this also would happen that after two months, you realize that you don't need that stuff. This can also happen. Second example I would like to share is that once I decided to buy a new mobile phone. Now I started an EMI and after uh, two months, I came to know that there is a new scheme and uh, if I use my uh, credit card of a, of, of a particular bank, I will get a special discount. So I used it and I got the discount. So because I waited, I was able to grab that opportunity of that special offer just because I was waiting for that mobile phone. So when you wait, when you plan, there are different uh, a thousand uh, benefits you will get. So in short, there are a lot of benefits you'll get with this habit directly or indirectly. I read about this habit in uh, a book called uh, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind and it's written by uh, T. Harv Eker. I have uh, mentioned uh, the name of the author and the book in the description below. I hope this video helped you and if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to communicate with me, post a comment and do share this video with your friends if you want. And if you haven't yet subscribed, Please subscribe because life's too short. Come aboard.